I was in Gulfport, went to Trina, rolled through. I was there in the aftermath. Um, this is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It's, it is heartbreaking. Clinton White lives in Ozeron, just six hours away from invading Russian forces. Families we know here in town, the Ukrainian men are si signing up for territorial defense. Um, and we have friends that are leaving tomorrow, I think, or, or have already left for 15 days of training to defend the homes and defend our community. Over 1 million Ukrainians have fled the country. White, who works as a youth pastor, is spending each day helping refugees cross the border just miles away from his town. It's amazing the resiliency, the strength, the defiance of the Ukrainian pe people. It's also very sad. We're, we're watching families be separated right and left. As he watches people leave, he and his wife have a very good reason to stay. On day two of the invasion, the White family finalized their adoption of little Jonathan. But due to a technicality, he's still at the orphanage. There is a mandatory 30-day waiting period between the time you have the court and the time that you can give the, get the birth certificate. And we, are, we, we have 26 more days to go. As other parts of Ukraine face Russian attacks, White's town is still unharmed, but gas is being rationed and grocery shelves are becoming more scarce by the hour. White tried to expedite the waiting period, but it didn't work. Now their plan is to hold on as long as they can. Have you thought about what you will do if Russian forces advance to where you are? We're not leaving our boy. Um, and and I, I probably won't wait on all the paperwork to be processed. If it, if it looks like it's going to come this way, I'll, I'll go take them.